What's up, you guys? FSC Trucking. Just unloaded here in Friesland, Wisconsin. Dropped one of them Triolet mixers. Had one of the big boys. Dropped that off over here. Now getting ready to get on out of here and go to the yard. I gotta go to the yard to switch out my trailer. We gotta go to the yard to switch out my trailer. I don't have my normal trailer, you know, the one I own. It's at my shop waiting on parts. Still, supposedly end of this week they'll come in. trailers we're gonna go load a striker for uh, Georgia we'll load that and go back home and then probably Friday or Saturday run over the weekend deliver Monday that's how we're doing it and then we're done for a little bit we're gonna load up Matthew's motorcycle in the dually and then we're gonna take it to Matthew both of my boys live down south now. So we're gonna drop the bike off with Matthew and then we're gonna go pick up Sean and then bring him back to Wisconsin because we're gonna be working on that lift kit on his Jeep. He ordered it, it has arrived, so now we just gotta put it in. His Jeep is still at my place, left over from Glamis. He's eager to get his Jeep back, so put the lift kit on the Jeep. He's gonna drive that back home. Now another thing, we might be looking at a truck in Maryland if it's still available when we go out there. But we'll see. I always keep an eye on marketplace for a truck to put a driver in. I do still have that 352, but I think the I think that truck is gonna be a big cantankerous for a driver to deal with. So want something just a little newer than that maybe. Or at least something easier to deal with. I don't know, I could be dead wrong.
Alrighty boys and girls, jumping off over here, gonna go grab our striker. So after I switched trailers yesterday at the yard, I came home up to my shop, went home, took care of a few things on the computer, and then this morning I had to go to a meeting, which, uh, This morning I had a meeting before I left my shop to come down here to load this. Because we're always looking to expand. So I don't know what's gonna come of it or not, we'll see. But there might be some opportunities for my expansion. So I had to talk to some people and see what happens. Might be able to make some moves. Can't stay where we're at forever. Growth is inevitable. And we're good at what we do. So, uh, you know, that's how I see it, right? Now, the way I understand it, I think there's three trucks loading today, and all three are going to the same spot. And that's a whole different scenario because one of them is the 6x6. Six six. That's the 3000 that I'm picking up. And then I'm told two others are eight by eights. I don't have enough truck to haul an eight by eight, nor do I have a trailer enough to haul an eight by eight. Because those have to be four axle tractors, three axle trailers, stretched. So I don't know if we'll see one or not, that'd be cool. I gotta deliver the same day. They gotta pick up today too, but I don't know where the other trucks are. Those are usually company trucks. Now I'm trying to figure out a way to expand and make Orwell a uh, four axle truck. So I looked at old school Joe dogs, but I have to look and see if that's legal or not. Some states are different. Um, I'm told like flip axles on trailers like mine, you don't get the full weight credit like you would if it was already a three axle trailer. So that makes no sense, but that's how some of the states work. The other thing with a Joe dog, like the one I was looking at, is it raises the height of the fifth wheel about four or five inches. And we're already scraping the tree line with these things anyway, so maybe in the end I just have to pony up and build a four axle truck and be done with it. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know when I'll get to it. But either way, after this morning's meeting, it's becoming more and more obvious that I really need to get expansion underway here. So... <sighs> I gotta figure out a method on getting it done, that's all.
sometimes you'll meet people and they'll give you something and you won't know what that means to you until later so this was a gift to me from a subscriber sadly that subscriber had a major loss in the family the wife died and the wife along with the subscriber he knows who he is is a very good fan of mine gave me this he said quote well, I'm tired of watching you climb on these loads and drop a tape measure down so I brought this to you back when I drove truck full time this hype pole I'm told has been all over Europe measures in centimeters as well as inches and feet. So I wanted to make sure the point is people come and go in your life and you don't know what they mean until they're gone. Nonetheless, I'm glad I met them at the time I did. See you on the other side one way. Pull that truck on. Thank you for the hike home. Alrighty. Strobes, lights, subscribe button. gonna go home leave uh, today's Thursday so we'll probably leave tomorrow maybe even Saturday I'm not sure go look at the miles look at the time look at the crap I gotta do I want to service Orwell before we leave I didn't get to do it yesterday quit looking at houses that was a waste of time looking for a place to rent nicer than what we're in. So we're 13 10 foot tall and the truck itself according to paperwork only weighs 41,000. I don't feel very heavy at all to be honest. <laughs> 